The biggest and brightest moon of the year has come, and you all saw it. On the 30th and 31st of August, we witnessed a special astronomical event when a super blue moon rose alongside Saturn. The super blue moon is a unique event that includes two interesting moon phenomena, the supermoon and the blue moon. However, the super blue moon of 2023 is special because this is the time when Saturn will be the closest to Earth and will appear right next to the moon in the sky. First, let's understand what a super blue moon is. A supermoon is when the moon is closest to Earth and thus appears larger and brighter. Why? Because the moon orbits Earth in an oval-shaped path. Sometimes close, which we call perigee, and sometimes far, known as apogee. When a full moon coincides with the perigee, it's referred to as a supermoon. Now, let's talk about the blue moon. When people say once in a blue moon, they mean something very rare. But in reality, the blue moon isn't blue. Generally, there is only one full moon every month. However, occasionally, two full moons appear in a single month. This second moon is what we refer to as a blue moon. So, when these two phenomena occur simultaneously, it's called a super blue moon. And it's extremely rare. Now let's discuss the blood moon. A blood moon is a specific type of lunar eclipse where the moon appears to be of a reddish color. This happens when the earth comes between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow on the moon. The light passing through earth's atmosphere scatters the blue color and allows the red color to reach the moon, hence giving it a red appearance. This red hue is why it's referred to as the blood moon. But why does the second full moon appear in a month? Let's try to understand the answer. Every moon cycle, meaning from the new moon to the full moon, lasts approximately 29.5 days. But our calendar months, like January or February, are sometimes 28, 30, or 31 days. Since the moon cycle and the calendar month duration don't perfectly match, occasionally, a month experiences two full moons. Speaking of the harvest moon, the harvest moon is the full moon closest to the autumn equinox. Generally, it occurs in September or October. This moon is called harvest because, in the old days, the additional light from this moon helped farmers harvest their crops. What's special about the harvest moon is that it rises early in the sky for several days, providing more light during the night. And what about the pink moon? The pink moon is the full moon that occurs in April. Despite its name pink, this moon isn't actually pink in color. The name pink for this moon came from the tradition of some native tribes in North America because, in April, a type of flower called pink moss or wild ground phlox blooms. This flower is pink in color. So, this moon indicates the blooming season of that flower, which is why it's called the pink moon.